Today, I'll be showing you how to file your crypto taxes on Tax Act with the help of Coinly. Hello, my name is Nelly and welcome back to another video. Today, we're specifically talking about Tax Act and I apologize, this video has been a little bit late because we've had so much other things we've had to do. So, you know, late, I guess is better than never. So the IRS needs you to file your crypto taxes as a part of your annual income tax return. So today we'll be using Tax Act to file capital gains and losses, any crypto income and any related expenses. Okay, so first things first, before we actually file our crypto taxes with Tax Act, we need to know exactly what we're reporting in terms of crypto activity. So the next step is to get your Coinly crypto tax report for the current financial year, and this will tell you exactly what you need to share on Tax Act. So to give you a quick overview of how this would work, I'll demonstrate how Coinly works. So um, this is the dashboard area. Heading into our wallet section, you'll see that I have different exchanges um, added to my um, Coinly platform to show all my transactions. So here you can see my activity throughout the year or you know whatever duration of time you'd like to look at. So you know staking, um, basic trading, transferring between different accounts, um, you know all kinds of stuff is in here. Um, if you want a complete you know overview of your transactions and you want to review something this is where you would do it obviously you would add all the wallets that are appropriate for you know your needs depending on what you're using whether it's coinbase or binance or kraken or whatever it might be once you've imported all that data which is really easy i've made countless videos on how to easily integrate these wallets into coinly you would head over into the tax report area where you would get a fantastic summary of your capital gains um, your income your costs and expenses and any other activity that you're kind of interested in a summary of and this is a fantastic area just to keep track of your activity throughout the year to kind of see where your crypto taxes are going to be. So how do you get your Coinly tax report? You'll need to sign up for a plan with Coinly. And from there, it's pretty straightforward. Um, you go to the very bottom area and obviously you're gonna you know, adjust your settings accordingly. United States, base currency USD, and cost basis method is uh, set to FIFO default. But if you want to use other methods, if you're more comfortable or more knowledgeable, on other methods, uh, feel free to use those. And then at the very bottom, you have various reports, which hopefully you guys can see clearly there. Yeah, um, now you can see various reports. You can download, um, you know, the IRS uh, report form eight nine four nine Schedule D. We have reports for you know TurboTax, um, and then here the, is the one that we're interested in. This is the um, Tax Act export. So once you've downloaded the um, Tax Act document, it'll look something like this. Obviously, yours will be a little different than mine with you know various different transactions, but these headers will be the same assets, um, date received, date sold, sales proceeds, stuff like that. And then this document is going to be dragged and dropped into uh, Tax Act. And it's pretty straightforward from there. Um, as you can see, there's not really a lot you'll have to do once you have this document. And you should be very glad, maybe even relieved to know that your Coinly report will be compliant with the tax rules of the IRS. And very importantly, that your capital gains will be calculated using the first in first out cost basis method and that all your crypto is converted into US dollar terms. And one more thing to point out here, if you'd like to learn more about crypto tax related things in the US, we have a fantastic guide here that has a lot of detailed information. We're also working on a video that may or may not be up when this video comes up. So if it is, I'll leave it in the top right corner of this video. A um, lot of really good information that if you really spend a little bit of time just looking through, you can probably save a lot of money on your crypto taxes. So I highly recommend this guide. I'll obviously leave it down below. And if there's a video, like I said, I'll also leave that uh, in, the, in the bottom of the description and in the top right corner of this video. Okay, so that's the intro. Let's actually talk about how to import this data into Tax Act once you have it. So obviously you're going to need an account, which I'm assuming you've made. And the first thing or the first parts of this setup are gonna be personal questions that are related to you, only you can answer. So I'm gonna skip that part. Obviously fill those out according to your needs. So the first question they're going to ask you is what were your sources of income in 2021? These are things that are going to be very tailored to your needs. Keep in mind, obviously, that you're not just doing your crypto taxes. You're doing all of your taxes and adding on the additional crypto information. For the simplicity of this video, I'm going to just do it as if I'm only taking care of my crypto taxes. So for me, I'm going to put none of the above. Obviously, these are going to depend on you know what you're doing and the type of employment um, you have. Okay, so question two asks us again, tell us about any additional income you have in 2021. So I'm gonna go under here and click the less common income. And then from here, I'm gonna click on, I have different income not listed. So as it says, we'll sort that out later. And then I'll click continue. 
Okay, so we finally get to the cryptocurrency section. Question three, did you participate uh, participate in any of these investments or savings in 2021? Sold cryptocurrency or NFTs received um, interest and other crypto activity. So for this part, it gives us a lot of different options, but I'm going to just click on gain or loss on the sale of cryptocurrency. And lastly, once again, you're gonna fill this out according to your needs. For me and the simplicity of this video, I'm just going to click none of the above for the fourth question. Okay, so once you've answered all the questions that you know were you know applicable to you, you'll eventually get to the cryptocurrency section. So I'll say specifically cryptocurrency is up next. We're gonna click continue. And then here it's going to ask us to import that file that I was talking about earlier in the video that has a you know list of all our different transactions with the appropriate information. So for this section, it gives us two different options, a CSV import or a 8949 PDF attachment. We're gonna click on the CSV import because that is the file that I was showing you earlier. This is the CSV file. So you're gonna click that and click continue. And here, just like most other third party, you know, tax service software, like even TurboTax, um, you're gonna have to get the premier version of the program to be able to enter your crypto activity. However, you don't have to do this right now. So you can click switch later and then we can worry about that towards the end. So import your transactions through a CSV file obtained from your exchange, software vendor, or um, one that was self-created. So we're gonna click CSV import and find that file. Once you've found that file, click on continue. And here it'll take a few seconds to kind of process um, that information. So just make sure your categories are lined up like you see here on the screen. So for asset, you're gonna go with description. For receive date, you're gonna go with date acquired. Um, date sold and sales proceeds, cost or other basis are all the same. So once you're ready, once you have all these selected, you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna click the import button. And then you can review these transactions one last time before you finally import them. Once you have everything imported, it'll say your stocks have been imported successfully. I'm not really sure why it still says stocks, stocks but um, maybe that's something on their end, um, but it's not relevant, it's still correct. So we're gonna click close and continue. And one more page here that you'll see is the cryptocurrency summary. So your total capital gain or loss reported on all copies of the um, form 81099B uh, shown below is $20,908. And you can, you know, once again, look at and review um, each individual uh, transaction if you wanna make any adjustments. This is your kind of, let's say, last chance to do it unless you wanna you know, eventually go back and look at it again. Um, and then you're going to click continue. So less common income sources are next. We'll collect details on less common income you made in 2021. So let's click continue. And here there's a bunch of different things that you know don't really apply to me. We're interested in the other income area. So that's you know income from airdrops, from mining, stuff like that. And I'll show you show you where to find that. So the easiest way to find this is actually just going on this page and taking this value. You know, this is your income, $81 and one cent. However, if you'd like to see a more detailed, let's say breakdown of that information, you can download the complete tax report. And on there, you'll see if you have, you know, different sources of income, I'll show you actually on this form right here. So on page three, if you go into the income summary, it'll tell you exactly how much you made from each kind of income. So for me, I have $45 um, and five cents from airdrops and I have other income of $35.96. So there's two ways you can do this. You can either type each of them individually. So you can have airdrop in, t in one section and you can have other income in another. But for me, to keep it simple, I'm just going to put the um, total crypto, um, crypto income. And I'm not gonna bother with creating multiple um, variants. If, you know, it's up to you if you'd like to. Um, but yeah, that's how you import your income information. Okay, so we've talked about capital gains and losses and we've talked about income. Let's talk about deductions. So first, any crypto related expenses which aren't part of your capital gains can be claimed in the itemized deduction section. From here, you would go, actually, let me just show you where to go from here. So um, can you qualify? This is gonna depend on you know whatever your information is. Um, I'm just gonna click take standard deduction. So let's go into the deductions area for a second. Here at the bottom, we're looking for itemized deductions. 
Okay, from here, we're going to click on investment interest and we're specifically interested in this section. So enter the amount of interest in investment interest you paid or occurred in 2021 investment interest expense from other sources. So to find these investment interest expenses from other sources, so you know, that's your margin interest, your margin trade fee, etc. you would go into your Coinly report. And once again, we go on to page three. And here you have the expenses, as I just mentioned, you know, your margin trade fee, your cost, um, your transfer fee, stuff like that. So that is a value of $56.18. And we're going to put that here. And then we're going to click continue. Okay, so we've put our capital gains and losses, we've put our income in, we've put our deductions in. Um, one final thing, you know, small note here, if you are a business owner, and you'd like to declare um, let's say, you know, tax preparation fees, stuff like that. I just want to show you where that section is. I know this is not going to apply to everyone, but it's good to know anyway. So under the income section, you're going to scroll down into business income or loss uh, includes contractor slash freelancer income. So you're going to click review. And in this section is where you would, let's say, put the cost of your Coinly report. But there you have it. You filed your crypto taxes on Tax Act in a relatively simple and quick manner. And here is the final section, you know, where you will need to buy a tax act from your plan to be able to report crypto related things on this report. But that brings us to the conclusion of this video. We have plenty of different resources. I'll leave links down below. Um, starting off firstly with the Coinly Help Center where we have countless di different crypto tax related articles. Um, we have a feedback section where you can report any bugs or issues you might be having with our software. We have a forum section where you can talk to members of our community as well as our staff. And then lastly, we have a contact section where you can send us a message directly and we'd be happy to help you. But if you found this video helpful in any way, consider dropping a like, subscribing for more crypto content, and I'll see you next time. Peace.